playing hard at one of the most popular sports events of the year. Kids from all over Cape Breton made their annual trip to CBHA for the Brendan McLennan Memorial Basketball Tournament. The event has been gathering loyal crowds for the past 17 years, with several communities getting together in the name of healthy competition. Brendan's memory always present. And thank you to Maggie and Steve, they're always here, always. Thank you so much. Although today's players haven't met Brendan, coaches and teachers certainly have, and they pass along the values he lived by to a new generation of kids. From what I heard from people, he was just an amazing man, and um, just to be able to kind of imitate that and his, um, his attitude on and off the court, I think it's very important. With 10 teams playing, organizers spend months in preparation. All proceeds go to a local girls and boys basketball team, the Huskies. This year, they're saving up for a new game clock. <laughs> Teachers and students volunteer, parents bring food to share, it's a weekend for people to bond. Our school is open to the community for three days. And communities outside. Caroline McDonald, whose daughter plays with Dalray Academy, is on her seventh year attending the tournament with her children. She says basketball gives kids foundational life skills. The importance of uh, winning, the importance of learning how to lose, uh, the importance of knowing that you're not always the best. Sometimes there's more important things than the outcome of a game, how to be part of a team. Brendan's own parents are guests of honor. They said the tournament always brings back memories, good and bad, but it's comforting to feel the community rallying around them. Everybody's here to support us, and they uh, were just amazed at uh, the people that are here and see all what Brendan accomplished. After students finish high school and often move away, they make their way back every year to show their support. Right now we have a couple of girls who have graduated from here that are now coaching in other areas and they bring their teams here, or try to get them here to get into this tournament, so that's kind of nice. And a lot of girls that go off to university, their common bond from this area is this tournament and they, they speak about it a lot. Substitution. The tournament has gradually changed from its inception in 2003, integrating girls teams and in the past few years, junior teams. Score by it has helped to build a community around the sport. I always tell the senior girls that play for our team that uh, the younger teams and the younger players and the younger girls that come out and watch the game, uh, they learn from them, uh, they look at them as idols the same way that uh, myself and, and my generation looked at Brendan McLennan as an idol and uh, ultimately how you grow a program and how you grow a culture around a sport, it, it, it all depends on, on how you act as role models and, and how you behave on the court, so they, uh, they act accordingly. This year, the Huskies Girls Seniors team made it into the championship finals. The little kids on the stage calling out your name, it's just like so surreal because you're like, they can be like me someday and it's just, it makes basketball just keep going and it's so fun. In fact, they won. Player of the game for the Trailblazers, number 24, Madeline Winnie. Presented by Jack and Meredith, cousins of Brendan, Kenzie, niece of Brendan, and Brendan's parents, Margie and Steve. And number 12, Molly Yusufer. And for the Cape Breton Highland Huskies, the player of the game is number nine, Leah Burns. And the 
tournament MVP for the Cape Breton Highland Huskies, number seven, Sarah Ross. And if I can have the captains of the Huskies come forward to receive the trophy for tournament champions, the 17th annual Brendan McLennan Memorial Basketball Tournament. Congratulations, ladies. On its 17th season, the Brendan seems to be turning into a classic. It's funny, yesterday, um, the, when they had the junior high game, there was a little boy came and he sat beside me. So I spoke to him and then he got really talky before the game was over. He was telling me things about the game and, and he said, uh, you know, it's six more years and I can play on the Brendan. Giving it your best, but also leaving it on the court. And most importantly, looking out for one another. Brendan's legacy is one made to last. In Terre Noire, for CHNE, this is Paula de Emperors.